Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP. Um, in response to our last video, we've had quite a few questions about how to do uh, Chia directly on the NAS. So the last video talked about how to do it using our QM2 cards and a Windows machine. Um, so this one, I'm going to show you how to do it on a NAS. Uh, so what I've got here is I've got a, a TVS-H1288X um, configured with um, some hard drives. So I've got 20 terabytes worth of storage down here, which will be, will be my farming drive. Um, and I've also got some NVMEs in as the main system drive and I've allocated um, 600 gigs of that capacity uh, for the plotting um, of the, uh, the, the Chia plot. So that's the intensive part. That's the bit that's going to use um, the most uh, resource uh, to generate the plots. So once they're made, you can put them down onto the, uh, the hard drive uh, area so that you can free up your smaller SSD capacity to make more plots. The more plots you have, the more chance you have of getting one of the coins. So I've done a couple of things ahead of time um, just to get ready to get this running. Um, so first of all, you have to have Container Station installed. Um, of course, you could do this um, a little bit differently with um, Ubuntu as a virtual machine or Windows even um, in our virtualization station, but it's going to use be much more efficient on the NAS to run it in a, in a container. Um, some other stuff I've also done is, is I've also created a file structure. So up here I've got the two volumes. So I've got the Chia Plots HDD. So this is my 20 terabyte storage. And in here I've created a folder called Plots. And over on the NVMe storage, I've created a folder called Keys. And within the Keys folder, I've got a temp folder. Now the temp folder is where all the action is going to be creating the plots. And the key file here is literally just a text document. Um, with the key that I'm going to use. So there's two options you can do. You can ask this to generate you a new key when it first launches, um, or you can have it store the key there. So all that uh, uh, key file has got in it is basically this. Um, so I, I opened up the Chia software on a computer, created a wallet, and this is the, uh, the key that it gave me. So um, I've just typed all these out into a text document in one single line. Uh, I copied it into the NAS and I removed the dot txt off the end of it. So that's literally all I've done to create that folder structure. And we're going to reference these folders, so the keys folder um, on the Chia Plots NVMe drive and the plots folder on the hard drive drive. We're going to reference those a bit later on when we're setting up the container so it knows where uh, those folders are. So if we go back to the, uh, the main area here in Container Station, the first thing we need to do is select images um, at the bottom left. So if you go to images, there's an option to pull here at the top. So I've already added it here, but I'll go through it again just so you can see what you need to do. So you need to go and add a registry. So by default, you'll only have Docker Hub there. So you have to click on add, and then you have to type in the information to add that um, extra uh, registry. So here you can call it ghcr.io for an example. So ghcr.io. Uh, the URL for that is http colon forward forward slash ghcr.io. And that's it. And you can just click test on that and you'll get a tick. Once you've done that, you can click add. I've already added it, so I don't have to add it. Um, so it's already in my list. Okay. So once it's done that and you've got it added into the uh, item, you need to pull an image from the registry. So if you click pull, select the new registry, and you need to type the image name. Now the image name for the uh, Chia software is chia-network forward slash Chia. And if you click pull, it's immediately going to then download um, the Chia container directly from that new registry. Once it's done that and downloaded it, you'll see it here in this list. So now it's available to pick from to do an installation. So to install the container, so this is all new from now on, I haven't done any of this, so you have to click create a container. It's already named it. One of the first things you're going to have to do is click onto the advanced settings section. So now in the advanced settings, we're going to go through and go through all the different options that we need and reference those folders I already mentioned. So here on the very first page, uh, we've got a list of the environment options. So here, is where you can change it. If you want it to generate you a brand new key, that's fine. You can leave this to generate. If you want it to use a key you have, we have to go forward slash chia, forward slash key. And the plots directory, we can leave that as it is, forward slash plots. Now these forward slash chia, key and plots, these aren't actually the paths on the QNAP. These are just for reference within the container. So the next step is the bit that's going to tell us where uh, the chia key and chia plots folders are. So if you click onto the shared folders option on the left hand side, 
click that and above the volume from host section we're going to click add we need to add two of these but we can only do one at a time so now we're going to go through and we're going to pick the plots folder first of all so we know that's in the, the plots uh, hdd section so we're going to choose the plots one and the mount point for that will be slash plots now if we click add again we can now add another one and this time we're going to add the keys folder and those are on the mvme one uh, over here so if we click onto the mvme and choose the keys directory and for this one we're going to just call this forward slash chia so these are just referencing the environment options they're not the paths on the qnap they're over here so once we've done those two options we can click create click ok on the summary and that's immediately going to run and set up the chia container so over here if we go into the chia section we can see that it's setting it up it's created the device public key so it's created all of that using the list that i had earlier and um, so the list uh, that i had in the key is all been picked up here so now it's set up and ready to run it's telling us the plots directory is empty uh, which is fine we haven't done any plotting or, or done any setup on it so far so to tell it to go ahead and do some uh, some chia mining effectively what we can do is we can type the command that's grayed out there so if you click the terminal option there um, and then type in forward slash bin forward slash sh and click ok we've now got the command prompt within the window uh, for the um, uh, for the container so now there's a few commands that you can do uh, we can probably put some of these in the uh, sections below but if you type v e n v forward slash bin forward slash Chia, and you can do something like uh, wallet show and it's going to tell you the status of your sync and some other things um, <clears throat> let's have a look we're going to skip restoring from backup so there we go we can see it's not synced yet so that does take a few hours it's going to do that in the background everything's at zero because we haven't started um, uh, farming the chia yet so if you wanted to uh, go through and create a, a plot, one of the commands you can do is venv forward slash bin forward slash chia plots create um, the most typical size is 32 so dash k32 dash b8000 so now we're going to say dash n and this is where you would put how many plots you want it to add to the queue so in this case i'll just do the one but you could say 10 if you wanted and have it go all night um, for a few days um, then the next thing is what we're going to do with the folder structure so if we do dash t this is going to be the temp folder so forward slash chia forward slash temp and then where do we want it to move the plot to after the plot um, has has been completed so that we want to move it to the hard drive storage so then we would do forward slash uh, sorry slash d space forward slash plots so that's effectively going to move it from the mvme drive here to the hard drives here so when we push enter here it's going to go off and create um, the process to create that plot so that's now going to go off plot you can close this window down this is going to keep running in the background um, so it's telling you just some information about what it's doing so doing the computing table so this will take a few hours and it will go off and create uh, depending on uh, how powerful the NAS is you know the more powerful the NAS the faster this will go uh, the, the faster your SSDs are the faster this will go um, if you're doing this on a NAS that's hard drive only it will potentially take a very long time uh, but this is uh, all the parameters we set so when we did dash b8000 that's the buffer of 8000 and um, so it's going to go off and set all of that up for us and go and create um, that plot file for us and um, so come back in a few hours you'd see some more information about it so we can close that down and we can see it doesn't use a whole lot of resource off the nas we're only using about nine percent of the cpu and two percent of the ram uh, with this container there's no reason why you couldn't uh, plot two simultaneously so you could literally just open up another uh, bin slash sh window and type the exact same command again so you could say uh, venv bin chia do plots create do the same exact command we did earlier okay and then we can just hit enter so that's going to go off and now start doing the second one so now even with two going the resources it's gone up a little bit but it's not a huge amount so it's a very efficient way to create the plots in the background 
Um, so if you were to use this for say uh, farming the the gear, that's great. You can you can match it with the same account that you're using on other machines by using the key. Um, if this is going to be your only machine to do it, you can leave it on that generate option that we mentioned earlier on, and it will create you a new key. Just remember to write these down because this is effectively how you access your wallet. So if you are lucky enough to ever find one of these cheer coins, the XCH, um, this is how you're going to gain access uh, to uh, to that wallet um, in other areas on other machines. For example. Okay, if anybody has any questions, do let us know. Um, we will put um, some information below with a, a few common commands you can do to check your plots, uh, get a bit of information about the farm um, that you're running here for farming the, the different shear coins, um, and also how to uh, have a look at the wallet as well. Okay, thanks a lot for watching.